Hello my viewers, welcome back to the channel. And by the video title, you know what this video is about. The Steelers have claimed victory, victory on the Los Angeles Rams. Yeah, today we had a sword. You no, know, um, usually I have something different. Maybe one day in the future, um, like I told you guys on the stream, I might I might try to buy a, buy a little small little building place. And when the stream gets big, when the, um, the channel gets big, have like a little light service touchdown, we do like a little light thing, something that may happen in the building or the room. I don't know. But the Steelers went out there and played amazing. It basically was a tale of two halves. You guys heard the J. Cole song, that tale of two cities, that hands in the air now, hands in the air, run it. And that's what the Steelers did in the second half. They ran the ball. Um, we've seen Najee Harris run the ball. We've seen Jalen Warren run the ball. We both scored touchdowns. Kenny Pickett scored a rushing touchdown as well. And we just kind of seen like, the dynamic of what the offense can actually be. They, they kind of got the one-two punch going a little bit. Now she had 53 rushing yards. I think, think um, to the Warren had like 30, 35, I believe so, on rushing yards. And then you see um, Kenny Pickett with the, the um, big-time plays on third and one. And, of course, also getting the one for the touchdown and the one on fourth and one. was kind of a little controversial. Did he get past the line? Did he get, didn't get it? Now, from a perspective of me as a viewer, I say that he um, was a little short, slightly a little short um, from the line because his knee went down and the ball came down. So they kind of gave him a little extra inch for the first down. I feel like it should it should have been a turnover on downs for us. But, you know, the way that they, they called some plays that was questionable too in the first half like that against us. And the referees kind of on both sides of the game was playing pretty badly like that. You know, they called it the, the pass interference on the sideline for Witherspoon. That wasn't really pass interference. But he said Johnson came on the other side for the ball and Witherspoon was, didn't even like – grab him or anything so that was really was some pass interference but they um you know there's a few um, calls here and there that might might be like a uh, little shaky calls like the especially like conduct one to Jesse Johnson now Jesse Johnson and Willispoon are former teammates you know he was like he was saying like oh yeah and he like patted them on the back referee just threw the flag on especially like conduct I don't think he was being mal malicious with his intent but you know it's, it's the NFL they don't anything is like when you show somebody up they're gonna call a penalty most most of the time but this game right here was a very crazy game you see that the first half of the Rams kind of like, um, they, 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 let the lead, they let the game actually, I think in, it was 10, 10 to 3 in the first half. And then you see how the Steelers in the second half, as TJ Wyatt making a big time play, he usually don't play in coverage a lot. But he went out there and um, was in coverage. He was um, watching the flat route at first. So he kind of saw something. He kind of stepped up, saw it, picked off. You know, I think Cooper Cup was running like a little out route. He saw it, picked it off, had a nice little return. And then you see Kenny Pickett them capitalize on that. Najee Harris making a big time play um, on those plays too, because he caught, caught the ball. He kind of bobbled it, kept stayed in bounds, broke a tackle, hurdled a guy, and dived for the touchdown. But he kind of got short. It was at the, short the line to get. And I think it was um, it made it like first and goal. Like they one yard short. And Kenny Pickett snick, snuck it up the middle with the QB sneak for the rushing touchdown, which was the first rushing touchdown of the Steelers' season this year. The, 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 um, the offense went out there and scored 21 points in the. Um, in the first and second half, and then the defense um, kind of like held it on, you know, held, held it down. Like they had the turnover, you know, they had the sacks, and you know, getting pressures and, and uh, causing havoc. I think they sacked Matthew Stafford maybe I think it was once or twice. It was twice. They got, they got him twice. I think Larry Ogilvy got him. Herbert got him. TJ Wyatt didn't get him in the sack, but he got an interception on him. They got some pressures in there. Uh, Sox Smith, same thing. They like, it caused a lot of like uh, havoc back in the backfield for him. Aaron Donald, he got in there a few times, like and, um, disrupted some plays, but he really didn't have like the monstrous. Game I thought he was gonna have. Of course, he, we know what he can do. And they were double teaming him a lot. Um, but um, every time he got one on one covered, um, he broke he broke free pretty easily and got in there and disrupted some plays, especially on third down. So uh, he he didn't have like the big time stats. But if you actually watch the game, you see like, the plays he went in there. You know, okay, yeah, he caused some mayhem. But yeah, this right here was um a crazy game, a big time game for the Steelers to go out there and win. Um, my MVP of this game is Kenny Pickett. I gotta give it to Kenny Pickett. Um, I know Dr. Harris played pretty good, solid, and Jalen Warren plays um, good too as well. Jesse Johnson coming back, 79 yards, um, making big time plays. The route runner that we were missing, I told you when he come back, he's going to open up so much more for the offense. And then you look at a guy like George Pickens, 103 yards, another 100 yard game for him this season. I think this is what, fourth, third or fourth one this year, um, playing some big time football. Got to stop the unsportsmanlike stuff, though. Got to stop that stuff. Uh, at the after something happened, he like caught the pass and he started talking to the guy. Just gotta pass it off and you know go line up like that. You can talk to the guy after the game or talk to him different time. Maybe text him on the phone or something. I don't know, but gotta stop the unsportsmanlike conduct stuff. But other than that, if ball out there balling, Kenny Pickett in the fourth quarter. Maybe at one point he was eight for eight, eight straight drive, I mean, eight straight completions going out there and just delivering big third down completions. Remember Deontay Johnson with the big third down play that one that turned to a forty, a, I think a forty yard gain, and we see George Pickens with a big um, third down play that one that turned to a, um, I think he had a um, 
was it 30 yard game? I think 30 yard game too as well. Um, on my board right here. Yeah, 30 yard gain on third down was third and eight. And then you go out there and you just see the way the Steelers just move the ball. Matt Canada actually showing emotion. We see him get pumped up like, let's go. I, I love to see that from him. I know a lot of people call for his job and stuff as well. But him showing emotion and actually, you know, getting fired up and stuff. And actually, he had some good play calling. What about his hair flying? Also, he had some good play calling, too, in the second half. First half was a little shaky a little bit here and there. But the second half, got the plays going, got everything going. The defense always going to play well. The only concern was the offense. The cornerbacks are still concerned a little bit. JPJ played good. We wanted to get Puka Nakua. Puka Nakua ran him over one play. But JPJ got his revenge with a pass breakup after that. Had a pass breakup before that, too, on guard and um, Puka Nakua. And we also see um, – and they heard big, the explosiveness of him. He had some tackle for losses. He had two tackle for losses, but he hit that sack, that big time sack. Came off the edge quick, very explosive and quick, real fast. Then you just seen him, you watch him like in game speed, like, man, that man's moving super fast off the edge and getting real low and keeping his leverage and getting there and making the sack. But Kenny Pickett is my player of the um, game for this game. 17 for 25, 230 yards, had a rushing touchdown and some big time 39 completions, 90, not, I think 99 passer rating. Oh, no, 97 passer rating. 97 passer rating. Kenny Pickett made some big-time plays in the fourth quarter. Had the Steelers get the win. Steelers put up 24 points, 21 points in the second half. And now they head to Jacksonville to play Jacksonville Jaguars. And we're 4-2. Now, the way people were describing us at the beginning of the, you know, before the bye week and the way we was talking, it felt like we was like 1-4 and four or 0-5. Oh but the Steelers are 4-2, and two, two games above 500. And they basically still kind of tied with the first spy in the north. The Ravens got one more game played in the Steelers because they, um, they haven't had a bye week yet. So the Steelers are still on par with the Ravens. The Browns won, so they're four and two now. And the Bengals, I believe, are three and three. So the division is very tough. Very tough division. Very gritty. Very scrappy division. Like people call it the they call it the hood of the NFL. And they say it's the trenches. <laughs> the trenches in the AFC North. Uh, they'll be out there, they'll be out there scrappy. You know, it's gonna be low scoring, it's gonna be hard hitting, but it's gonna always be a sight to watch and sight to see a lot of emotion in this game. But I love the way Coach Tomlin is with 13 and 4 now. After the bye week. Coach Tomlin always gets guys ready, and the second half adjustments was amazing that he made too. You know, defensively the defense is already there, and he made some good plays. Kept them in the end. they got in the end zone once on one of the on drives, but other than that, he kept them kind of he kept them all hemmed out and hemmed in a little bit. And then you see um you see what um, what happened with the offense and the offensive line kind of getting more in sync in the second half and the rushing attack. Najee Harris getting looks and being fired up and getting pumped up. And I know he only had like 56 rushing yards. He had, he, had some, he had some few um, in the passing game. He had like close to 70 scrimmage yards. He had a touchdown too. But it's, it's still progress. It's progress of us moving forward. Like that we see Jalen Warren. Najee Harris got to get the uh, rush, rushing game established a little earlier in the game as well. But I like the way they did it late in the game because, you know, late in the game, not too many people want to run up and tackle a 240-pound running back. Not too many people want to run up and tackle. Jalen Warren might not be as big as Najee, but he's explosive. And he um, you don't want to tackle that either. Like a pinball coming in, coming at you at that speed like that. So, the Steelers can find a way to implement, imp, like use this and input this two um, punch run scheme within the whole entire offense. They're going to be very good. But the Steelers win this game. It's a big time victory. You know, victory Monday for us tomorrow. Um, thank you guys for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoyed the live watch party if you stopped by. If you didn't stop by, you can stop by on um, next week. We play the Jaguars at 12 o'clock. And also, we play the Titans on Thursday Night Football. So, we got kind of like a back-to-back -back one because it'll be a short week, too. So, tune in for that. But I'll see you guys next time on the channel. Peace out.